We've been involved in the cancer moonshot since the beginning. And in that time, Roswell Park's chair of biostatistics and bioinformatics, Alan Hudson, has been involved in securing more than $10 million of federal grants for Roswell with more in the pipeline. So the networks that we are involved with are preclinical. They're called preclinical re translational relationship. Some of which involves experiments on animals to see if what is discovered can be applicable to treating humans. That's the end point is to translate these basic science science research into clinical trials. And so a lot of the original moonshot was preclinical work to move to clinical trials as rapidly as possible. That's important if the moonshot program is to meet its goal of reducing cancer mortality by 50% in the next 25 years. So is something else. The core is around creating networks of folks that share high level information versus just being isolated. Because historically, cancer research and breakthroughs have been somewhat proprietary. Yes, <laughs> but that's what the moonshot, if you're part of moonshot funding, you have to share your data. That's part of the policy. And in fact, even more simple, you have to make your publications open access immediately. Everything is about open access, data sharing, creating networks. That's the beauty of this moonshot. Meantime, the next phase of this moonshot is shifting more toward prevention and diagnosis, and he notes why government funding in particular is vital for that. That's something that industry, there's no profit in it. So, but learning how to prevent cancer is actually a low profit <laughs> uh, item from a business point of view. Interestingly, the report notes that we could likely prevent more than half of all cancers and associated deaths, not in 25 years, but right now, by applying knowledge we already have, such as avoiding smoking and other risky behaviors, availing ourselves of regular doctor visits and early detection means, including things like mammograms, colonoscopies, and other screenings. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.